Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at this fairly simple but rather interesting graphical effect. So this is not really about showing you any particular end result so much as offering you a range of techniques that you can use to create some pretty cool stuff. You can easily imagine this being used as a music visualizer, for example. So anyway, let's get on with it. So let's check up on our project. We've gone with 1920, 1080, 25 frames a second and a duration of 30 seconds. So I just want to create a fun background for this. So I'm going to come over to Generators. I'm going to drag in a color solid. And I'm also going to look for the thing called Truche Tiles down here at the bottom. And with the Truche Tiles selected, I'm going to come down to Stylize and Pixelate. And I'm going to set the scale to 79. So this kind of creates this sort of pixelated vignette, as it were. And I'm going to come and change its a blend mode to add and set its opacity down to about five and let's change this color something like that it's just a kind of fun way of making a, a different sort of background and what i might also do is with this group come to blur and uh, zoom blur just a little bit more of that gives us a, a focal point as it were so let's now make a new group object new group let's select the circle tool hold down the shift and option key draw out a small circle like that center it up come over to the shape geometry and set this radius to something like six then what we're going to do is make a replicator out of this so object replicate for the shape we're going to choose line and i want to zero out that value and that value and then i want to open up both of those, and I want to apply an oscillate behavior to all four of these. So I'm going to show you the first one, add parameter behavior, oscillate, and then I'm going to come back when I've done it to all four. So now we've got all those oscillate behaviors there. Let's just hide the top two there, which are the end points. So we're just going to concentrate on the two start points for now. What I'm going to do is set the phase of one of these to 33. And also going to set this speed to 5 and this speed to 5 as well. So let's hide both of those and show the top two, which are going to be the end points. In both of these cases, I'm going to set the amplitude to 400, like so. I'm going to set the speed to 15 for both of them. And I'm also going to have a phase of 33. And come back over to my replicator and let's crank the points up to 50 so we get a line. So now what's happening, you probably can't see because we haven't got any reference point of this. So what I'm just going to do is again grab the circle tool, hold down the shift and option key, drag in a circle like that. Let's center it up. Let's come over here. Let's turn off fill, turn on outline, make this something like 12. Come over to geometry and make this 400. And actually, fact, let's just make it a little bit more just so it covers the end of that line like that. So 406, 407. And let's actually make a duplicate of this circle and let us set its radius to 100. So this should now be more obvious. So the end point of this one here is going around that inner circle and the end point of the other one is going around the outer circle. And that's what we did with that phase offset. So now what we can do is we can take this replicator and we can make a clone of it. So let's do that. Pause playback for a moment. So from this clone, let's hide this replicator. Let us make a new replicator. Let's select circle for the shape and outline for the arrangement and have a radius of one. And then I want to set the angle end to 360 and then just increase the number of points till I get something that I like the look of. I think I'm going to go with 24. So now it's looking like this, which is already pretty cool. So what we need to do is we need to hide that bit in the middle where they overlap. So I'm going to take my smaller circle, this one that's just 100 pixels, and let's come over to style and let's turn on the fill and let's just make it, make it black like that. And let's also take this replicator, right click, add image mask and use this as the source and turn it back on. And we just need to invert it. This will be useful 
later on. This is kind of interesting already, but we can do a lot more with it. So let's first of all take this group and just add a nice neon to it, like so. And let's just back off on the uh, mix value a little bit like that, 25 or something, and increase that outer glow even like that. So how can we make this a bit more interesting? Well, one of the things we can do is come to this replicator and for the color mode, let's pick from color range and let's come down and select a rainbow. Now we don't necessarily want these rainbow colors, what we could do is we could come to color and hue saturation and simply knock out the color. But what we're getting is that nice spread of different luminance values. Let's select this group and come to color and colorize. And let's drop it down below the Leon like that. And let's just pick something that's a bit more fun than that. Let's go with that, I don't know. So let's close up this replicator and let's come back to our original replicator. And let's just go crazy and come down to filters, distortion and underwater. And that already is a lot more interesting, as you can see. Let's maybe just reduce the size down to 1.5 and maybe the speed down to 0.2. And let's play with the refraction. There's a lot we can do with that, but let's try some other filters as well. Let's come to distortion and glass block when that's kind of really pretty wild. Let's go for 1.5 for the scale. We could drop that glass block down below the underwater and then we get a, a different effect again. We could try adding some different distortion filters. So I'm going to add a wave and we could do that instead of the underwater. Uh, maybe just increase the amplitude of this wave to something like 50. Again, we could choose a different order. So put the wave below the glass block. So that's looking like that. We could even add back in the underwater for a different effect. We could add filters, distortion, and what do I want? Ripple. And Ripple just j jaggies it up a little bit. So let's increase the amplitude a bit like that. Really quite interesting. Really just playing around here, not going with anything particular. Obviously, another one we can use is twirl. So let's have a go at that. Distortion twirl It's kind of quite good. Let's uh, set the angle though to negative 180. So it goes around in a, in a more interesting direction. And again, you can literally just play with the order of these and you will get different results. So really not going to waste any more of your time on this. Or well, if we actually now just turn off this center like that, we just have that effect of that mask. And I think that's a little bit better. Another thing I'd quite like to do is take this circle here and come to filters and blur and zoom blur. And actually if we have really quite a large amount that creates quite an interesting effect. So I think I've shown you enough just to get you going really. Hope that's been interesting. Thanks very much indeed for watching.